Hello and welcome to Off The Shelf Reviews. I can't believe we're doing leeches. And I'm Gary. And today we're going to review and discuss Leeches, which released in 2003. Written by Michael Gingold and directed by David Decotto. Ian, why don't you give us the synopsis for Leeches? Well, at a small college in America, a small swim team are trying to win the big competition. We follow Stevo, who has got a lot of his teammates into using steroids to try to get the best times. But after he and his friends go swimming in a local lake, they come back to the college with some leeches attached to their body, which start to double in size because of the steroids. The film then descends into madness, hilarity, and general just awkwardness. <laughs> Well, and have you ever heard of this director before? No, no. Well, he's pretty prolific okay. as, as a filmmaker. And uh, I wasn't particularly aware of this director, but I have definitely seen films that he'd released back in the 80s, at right. least, yeah. uh, with Creepazoids oh. in 1987. Sounds like a classic. And also in the early 90s, Puppet Master 3. In 1991. Right. And, you know, after having seen all the Puppet Master films, you kind of just become aware of them. Yeah. I mean, so at least this name, this director has got his name attached to some cultish type films. Yeah. yeah. Before the rest of his career would include films like Duffy the Talking Cat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'm telling you, the effects in this is also absolutely abysmal. But this is a director that has had films. Featuring UFOs, the Bermuda Triangle, sharks, zombies, Frankenstein. Like, within six years, this director managed to release a staggering 50 movies. He is literally shooting them one week, editing them the next, releasing, and on to the next one. He's got, like, a whole production line. Yeah. But that will also tell you, probably from some of the footage you've probably already seen, mm -hmm. what to expect today. And that's just a slight step up from the ship fest that was Venom that came out in 2020. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like, Ven Venom proved that what you can do with no budget. Like, this kind of proves what you can do with some kind of budget and maybe a set or two that's all i ask yeah yeah <laughs> well i mean like you said if this guy has been making movies since the 80s and this was 2003 and i'm pretty sure like like he's gone on to keep going past 2010 to up to two, 2015 and he's still going you know like <laughs> he is the he, like like i love lloyd kaufman but you know there are probably some prodigy children out there who are running around with a camera going i can make any film and Oh my God, no! <laughs> yeah, no. You some no. Some of them, you just want to tell them to stop. Like, just, just stop now, because. But like, can you? An artist can't be stopped. They have to make it for us to know that it's bad. Who is this for? <laughs> like, I mean, I like asylum level, trauma yeah. level yeah, yeah, shock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But this is the stuff that you know you have to filter through this dredge to find the good stuff. This this <laughs> film, I think, was on a personal level just for the director himself. He, the director was personally just making this movie possibly for himself because I I felt that there was maybe some tones in this movie that some homoerotic undertones, just a little bit. Or like a overtone here well, or there. I, like I, I don't know, but I, I found there was a hell of a lot of slow mo sequences of men's chests and S -s just slow mo chests. But no, there was there was a lot more. But at the same time, like, like you're watching the film and you're questioning, you're asking yourself, what does this scene tell me? What am I getting from this scene? You know, I, I, I like <laughs> you're talking about the slow mo. I'll, I'll <laughs> rant about it later. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure of it. Yeah. Now, what is one thing that usually symbolizes that you are in a dream sequence? Oh, wow. Just... Slow mo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So the film opens with the slow mo. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, we're... And, and it is. He basically wakes up, it's a dream, it's a nightmare. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, that'll be the end of the slow mo what a for the movie. What a shitty <laughs> nightmare. What did he slip? Because he, he gets to the steps, doesn't he? Yeah. He's gone for a swim 
And, like, it really made me want to go for a swim, this movie, you know. But, like, so many swim pant shots. I was just like, for fuck's sake, like, what? Like, like if this was all... If these actors, if these males were females in swimsuits, the movie would have been absolutely slated for, obviously, sexualizing these girls and focusing too much on the swimming and the swimsuits. But because it's the guys, like, people are like, nah, this is part of the movie. <laughs> And he slips off the step part as well. He falls into the water and he wakes up in bed. And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, I'm having bad dreams. And his girlfriend, just, his girlfriend Casey, I believe it is, she's just like, oh, well, maybe it's all because you started taking that stuff. And he's like, well, you weren't moaning about me, you know, having problems earlier. <laughs> and you realize that this is the start of the steroid story. And we come across Matthew Twinning uh, playing Steve-O, Jason's friend, and Steve-O is selling or, or giving him steroids because he wants Jason to become faster on the swim Stronger. team. Stronger. Yeah. <laughs> like the fucking script writing in this was like... It, 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 it's beginner level, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's like the template of like how to do a, like a, a, a PSA on, on, on drugs and, and steroids and all of the negative connotations that it has in the sports industry, obviously being illegal and yeah. these enhancers. They're not drugs. They're, 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 bo they're body enhancers. But it was just uh, like, I don't know if it's the fact that there's 2003, but it's like when they go to the lake and they're all hanging out, I'm, I'm like, am I looking at a new metal indie 2003 fucking OC Dawson's Creek kind of fucking script writing because well yeah i guess it, it definitely has a made for tv kind of yeah yeah <laughs> it totally does and i understand like there's there's probably a few people in the in the um comment section right now thinking well ian you've got problems following certain storylines you wiki your movies and you're not as smart as you seriously watch leeches seriously because once you once you get into this whole story dynamic of the girlfriends and the boyfriends over the over the steroids, you forget all about the fucking leeches. Oh, there's leeches in this. Yes, movie? there's oh. leeches. <laughs> because finally, Steve O and Jason they go for a swim in the, at, uh, at the lake, uh, you know, and they get back to the showers and they realize they've got some leeches on them. It's like fucking dude, where's my leech? <laughs> <laughs> what? You got like leeches on you, man. What? Are you, where are they? Hold still. Hold get still, them off still. me. <laughs> Oh my... Uh, well, it's not only that, we follow them for what feels like half an hour. <laughs> yeah, and we see these leeches barely holding on to their backs <laughs> as they, they wobbling and wiggling as they walk into the showers. Yeah, And then they, they end up just dropping them, showering and buggering off until somebody else comes in and starts to seize them on the floor and like, oh, I'm going oh, to the... kick them into the drain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so at another point, somebody comes in Somebody comes into the shower and the leeches after ingesting the blood from Steve-O and Jason, which is obviously... The steroids. With the steroids, has now infused them with, like, tw you know, to grow bigger. But I love the fact that the drain is slid across. Like, you slide it to one side, you drop the leeches in, you slide it back. And then while the guy's having a shower, we watch it slide open. So there's a leech underneath the drain, inching it across with his nose. Yeah. Because he's got no fucking arms. <laughs> and then we watch it climb out of the shower and slowly make its way across the floor. Because the guy is so freaked out by this. But well, actually, no, he just slips. and it, it, Yeah, <laughs> he's not freaked out by the leash. He, no, he, he just slips and knocks himself out. And then we get the epic music and the epic point of view shot as this leech slowly makes its way, I mean, very slowly, very. slowly makes slowly. its way to him. Is it there yet? Oh, it's, fuck's it's sake, it? No, wait, <laughs> hold on. It's it's I almost it. there. Like, this guy could wake up at... No, he's not got it, yeah. Oh, wait, it's crawling into his mouth. Man, what kind of leech is that? That's like... It's a, it's, it's it's a, a puppet. goddamn puppet. It's a puppet. It's not even wet looking. No. It's just a hand puppet. I, I want to know who did. Because I went on Wikipedia, people. It's not got many notes. I couldn't find the actual person whose arm it is. But we believe it's the director. We're going to we're gonna say it's the director. That's only because the uh, the leech sock puppets gets very hands-on with lots of the stars of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so Steve-O has gone out of his way to convince his friend Tony that he needs to do steroids. Obviously Jason's doing steroids. Steve-O's getting half the team to do steroids. All apart from Spencer, 
the microbiologist. And as you can tell, he's the smart one of the whole movie because he's got glasses. Well, it's hard to tell any of these apart anyway. They've all really pretty much got the same physique, yeah. the same kind of personality, the same haircuts. Yeah, but, but Spence wears glasses. Okay. okay. And and you can kind of differentiate from the girlfriends as well. Uh, I, I, I will say the actor playing uh, Steve-O, Matthew Twinning, is probably the, the standout performer here because you literally get the impression that he is an asshole. Yeah. So I'm like, well, you know what? At least I'm getting an impression from this actor. I'm not from anybody else. Like, like it was like a, a mixture of Stifler and maybe evil Timothy Oliphant from Scream 2. <laughs> you know, because he's got the frosting hair and he's running this small little drug empire. But, oh my God, it turns out that the coach has come across information that there might be some drug investigations. So we need to get rid of all of the drugs. So Steve-O is now going around. Well, that's because they had a party, didn't they? Yes. The night before. And there was this other kid who's underperforming in the swim team. Yeah, totally. so, yeah. like, And he's he's just agreed to start taking steroids. But that's not enough for Steve-O. You need to take the whole damn bag. Like now. And you also need to polish off this bottle of whatever. Yeah. Have fun. And uh, and he ends up getting bitten by the leeches. And, well, he uh, goes for a swim. Well, yeah. And then he gets bitten. He climbs out and then gets killed. Yeah, he gets bitten. And then Dr. Uh, Doctor Mannings, I think it was, the nurse, they find the body on some grass. Tony's girlfriend comes and finds the body on the grass. I can blatantly see grass. It was grass, right? There's fucking grass right there. And the doctor comes along and she looks at the body. Nobody's called the police. Nobody's phoned an ambulance. Nobody's really even worried. I mean, the girlfriend's even there. And she's like, oh my God, my, my boyfriend's dead. He's got blotches all over his face where the leeches have sucked the blood out of him. And she's like, oh my God. So like, he's he, he's had a few drinks last night and, and he's got no blood in his body anymore. So he must have drowned when he fell in the lake. And his blood just fell out. I'm terribly sorry to have to break this to you all, but there was an accident last night. Tony Lamarco drowned out of the lake. This I'm not sure. I'm told he was drinking heavily last night. As far as I can tell, he slipped on the dock, fell and hit his head and went into the water unconscious. <laughs> yeah. When she turns up later, the other science lady, she's like, well, we found traces of steroids in the system, so your whole swim team's gonna, oh, gotta be tested now. The back and forth between her and the coach was like such an amazing scene of script writing. <laughs> they were so bad at it, the script was so bad, the camera was so bad, everything was so bad I could not help but laugh because they're arguing and then yeah, the whole team have obviously been advised as well, they've got to get rid of the, all these drugs, they've got to make sure that they're hidden but the doctor goes and gets into her car. Now, the, the leech has killed the main guy at home. And his buddy comes into the flat. And we get that weird shot where he walks past the bathroom. And we see the body in the shower. Or well, on the floor. And we're like, oh, it's a dead body. But everything's in fucking slow-mo. Everything in this goddamn movie is in Everything. slow motion. Everything. There's so many dudes just... Getting undressed in slow motion. Oh, God, yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're into a dream. S slow motion. Yeah. Uh, slow motion getting into the water. Slow motion getting out, out of the water. water. Yeah. Slow motion swimming. Slow motion walking. Slow motion showering. Fucking slow motion sleeping. <laughs> I, what, what pisses me off most, like, I fucking hate it when films do this. If somebody's in slow mo, the animals, they have to be in slow-mo. If the leeches aren't in slow-mo, but the people are in slow-mo, what is, how, that, th there's a problem there. And you get this bit where the guy is sleeping on the bed and he's all in slow-mo and then the <laughs> hand puppets start to climb over his leg, but they're in kind of normal speed because the leeches, they can't go any slower and he's still sleeping and it starts to caress. Like, it's a hand puppet. This, this hand was caressing this guy while he's sleeping. And then there's a weird cut where there's a second one, but you're not, you don't realize it's a second one. You think it's the same one, just a wrong edit. And then the two, then the two of them attack his face and he does what? Like, why his face? Well, the thing is, it was like there was one of them for ages, and then all of a sudden there's three of them on his yeah. face. And like, where did the hell the other ones come from? Where did that music come from? Where does this edit come from? Oh my god, the film's suddenly alive. It's it's not. It's, <laughs> no, you're, but you're it's really not. Like, yeah. It's just it was just a sudden jolt of energy. It was like getting an electric shock all of a sudden, because something, something an hour into the movie after all of this steroid nonsense. 
Oh my god, it's it, absolute dreck. It's like which script came first, the leech script or the, the or the steroid uh, subplot? I'm, because the film was originally called The Swim Team. Right, I, I, I'm going to go with the drugs first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the leeches were well, added. You know what? It yeah, just... we need to horror this up a bit. And like, what a premise! What a what a concept for a really disturbing, gory movie. Yeah. About leeches that blood suck, leeches that can get inside your body and eat your organs and yes. come out of any orifice. Yeah. You know, leeches of different size. If these leeches are on freaking steroids. Show me some leeches on freaking steroids, not these sock puppets that sit on people's faces so that they literally can't... I mean, they're so puppetry. You see deaths later when they tried it. They just touched them on their face like, oh, <laughs> oh, no. If they, That is if they are acting or reacting. They're, they're, they're not. I mean, every finish is fucking botched together. Like we said, the, 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 the doctor, she goes to her car and we see a leech under her car and you're thinking, oh, shit, maybe she's going to get killed. But funnily enough... She avoids the leech, gets in her car, and somebody strangles her. She gets garroted. Yeah. yeah. You're like... And it's really quite bloody as well. So, so, wait a minute, so there's a serial killer on campus yeah, as well. Yeah, as well as leeches. You're like... <laughs> What the fuck? But Steve-O obviously is, is starting to realise that all of the people around him are, are, are dying. And it turns out that it's the coach that's been given him the steroids to sell to everybody. And once Steve-O makes the coach realise that, well, it, like, I'm ditching all my drugs. And the coach is like, well, you'll have to buy some more from me. And he's just like, well, yeah, but I've just lost so much money from that. And the coach gives him shit. Well, you're rich. Your family can afford it. Well, you make more in a fucking day than I day do in a year blah, blah. and I'm like the coach is so bad yeah. this is, he's even worse than everybody else I'm starting to like Steve-O now because it turns out that Steve-O was actually being manipulated Steve. by his coach yeah. yeah don't you tell me what fair is your family makes more in a week than I do in a year so you can damn well afford to pay me for more it's not my fault Tony went and got himself killed but it doesn't end there people yeah, it, it's it's we follow this other girl, don't we? Her boyfriend's just been violently murdered by by leeches, and she's like, "Oh, I just want to go home now." Oh yeah, yeah, let's go home. Is that Angie when she's walking outside? Yeah, and then she gets attacked yeah, outside. Yeah, exactly. I was like, well, "You went home, and then you went back outside. You stood in some slime, and then you're like, I'm just gonna sit here now." Yeah. I'm oh, where's the leech? Oh, the leeches have got oh. me now too. And then we had the, the sex sequence between uh, Casey and Jason. You know, Jason has decided that he's going to come off of the steroids now. He's going to be a better swimmer. And, you know, everyone says that he should be as good as his grandfather and his father. Well, they didn't need steroids when they were swimming, so he doesn't need it either. And his girlfriend's so happy for him. She's like, we're going to do that thing tonight. He's like, the thing? She's like, the thing? And he's like, oh, we're going to do the thing. And she ties him to the bed and she blindfolds him. And she's like, oh, no, we're all out of condoms I'm gonna have to go get some and he's like don't be long and she goes out the room and he's killed by leeches it's fucking horrible to watch I would have rather watched the sex sequence from both castle freaks back to back <laughs> what are you doing what is that <laughs> it's the fact that it's just the same death scene we've just seen Again, the leeches on their face, the no. the sudden rock music that kicks yeah, in, and yeah, the yeah. jarring editing. It's like... But it's it's worse with this one because he he thinks it's his girlfriend kind of feel, feeling him up. Oh yeah, so he's kind of turned on he's by his own death, by it, and he's sat there in the pants. <laughs> And, it, and then the girlfriend comes up and hey, I got the condoms. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, I need to take the blindfold off to check if you're dead. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell before. Oh shit, you are dead. Oh, the leeches have got me too. Oh, oh, no. No. oh now I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, oh, well, I mean, I didn't actually expect these two to die. No, that is true. I thought they were actually going to be the heroes. But we're got to follow Spencer and Sarah. And Sarah is this other girl who's kind of got a thing for Spencer. And he's so fucking stupid he doesn't catch on to it. Or he's purposely not going for it. I can't figure it out. Um... But the two of them have gone out on a bit of a date and when they come back, they come across Angie's body first and she's sat outside after being killed by the leeches. And then they head upstairs and they come across Casey and her boyfriend. They're dead in bed and they've been killed by the leeches. And so the, the two of them are obviously terrified. I can't, 
But they come across Steve-O, that's right. Yeah. They come across Steve-O and they're like, run away, there's killer <laughs> leeches. And he's like, what? And a leech jumps on his leg and bites him and he, f- he fights it off. And they all come to the realisation that the, the leeches from the lake must have eaten the steroids. And so they've got to kill them before everybody else on campus is killed. There's nobody fucking else. Everyone's dead, I imagine. <laughs> the whole campus? Well, they've gone on spring break already. The I whole don't town? I don't know. That's it. The plot holes. The massive plot holes. <laughs> but they go and find the coach, don't they? They're oh, like, God. oh, coach. And the coach is yeah. like, oh, you see all the bodies. Yeah. All the bodies, they're all dead. The swim team's dead. Your girlfriend, <laughs> Sabrina, she's dead. Like, we don't see them, but later on, Steve was just like, yeah, they're all in the locker. And we're not sure if, like, the coach killed them with leeches. Right. Or if he just killed them. Yeah. And uh, so they're like, look, we need to kill all the leeches. To... Just... And he's like, no, you can't, because then they'll find out about my steroids. Oh, yeah. And so they end up fighting, and they have this, this well, it's a one-two punch, really. <laughs> and yeah. Every time there's a fight in this movie, there's just a, a, a sudden white flash, so you yeah. can't really see what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah. And it edits the, the fight, and then then they tie him up. <gasps> they tie him and up. And leave him there. <laughs> they tie now, him up in the shower room. I'm like, uh, why? Because <laughs> like, they've only got four sets. Yeah, and uh, like a, 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 I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, a leech comes up out, out, <laughs> yeah. of, out of the drain to come and get it him. Does. Starts crawling up his body, and he's like, oh, oh, the leech has got the steroids in it. I'm going to eat the leech. <laughs> yeah. The mystery. <laughs> he eats the leech. He fucking and eats that gives the leech. Him Gives him second-hand steroids through the leech. Does that make but them more powerful? Possibly. And that gives him the strength to dexterously untie the knots. Yeah. Not, he doesn't break not up not with the, the pipe <laughs> off. Not to break the rope. Just to untangle his hands. Well, this makes him very angry. Oh, yeah. Very, very angry. He's very so angry. So he goes and chases down the teens and then they kill him. Well, I mean, Sarah and Spence had realised that he'd got the body of the doctor in his boot. So they're, they're suspicious that the, the coach is a, a murdering psychopath. And they've also come up with the idea that they're going to drop three uh, bulbless electrical lights in a swimming pool because the leeches are attracted to water. Supposedly. They haven't been in the water I since know, I when? Yeah. I didn't want to argue. I just wanted the <laughs> yeah. film to end. Were they water beds these kids were on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they just want to throw... They're going to throw these lights into the swimming pool and then Sarah's going to hit the switch but they need live bait to lure the the fucking um, leeches into the pool and so we get a sequence much like the dream sequence from the beginning of the movie but with Steve-O instead of Jason in the pool and Steve-O doesn't actually see the leeches swim up or get into the pool. They just appear at his feet. Oh my god they're in the pool with me! Hey Spencer they're in the pool and Spencer's like Sarah flick the switch! But the coach attacks, and he just kind of grabs Sarah. In slow-mo. Yeah. If, just, in, just remember, in slow-mo. In slow-mo. And I was like, wait a minute, he cut himself with a little pocket knife. He did. And bled into this giant pool. Why? He and then be- all the leeches appeared there. I'm like, how, d- like the, 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 the leeches are in this whole school, this whole town. Like, yeah. Why would they come to this one it's got, pool? It's got a bite, he's got a bite on his leg. Why cut his hand? He's got a bite on his leg. Oh, I just, yeah. like, I, like, it's so late into the film. I just want it to fucking end yeah. whatever way it's going to. I, I can't remember. How did Spencer kill the coach again? He, he stabs him with a... He smacks him across the head with a pipe oh, a couple of right. times. Yeah. And then he impales him with he it. He stabs him in the back, doesn't he? And yeah. the blood draws out of the back. Um, but it's too late at this point because Steve-O was trying to get out of the pool before she oh, flipped he's the a, switch. Oh, fuck. And just as he's climbing out, he slips and falls back in and gets fried along with all of the leeches. It was so long. was so long it was so long so i'm just like oh wow the movie's the movie's all over now but no there's a twist oh there's a twist yeah the marine biologist the nerdy kid Mm. was actually conduct who we saw conducting experiments throughout the film was secretly the one behind it all yeah it wasn't necessarily the steroids but it was whatever he was doing with them to mind control them because apparently they were too violent and did too much killing for his that's right. He put the leeches there and he wanted to kill the swim team so that he could become the captain of the swim team, but they accidentally ate the steroids. Or or did he give the steroids to the coach? I mean, I should have seen this coming, like, but it actually makes no impact on the film whatsoever. No, absolutely none. <laughs> nope. 
Oh, what a drastic disappointment this was. <laughs> really? What yeah. the, like, I mean, I was hoping for a gore fest. I was hoping for to see some people get eaten alive by leeches. Man, this movie's called Leeches from 2003. It's, I know, it's 2022 like, and we've never heard of it. That should tell you everything. Yeah, I know. But you, you, I know you, you look for the gem, don't you, in that cesspool of awful movies. Yeah. This remains in the cesspool of awful movies, I think. Anyway, yeah. Ian, did you have any favourite or memorable scenes? Oh, man, no. No favourite sequences. But I will always remember the slow-mo. There is slow-mo... So much in this movie. I think and the film's still playing somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's still going on in my head. I like. I. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna have kind of montage sequences over this because I can fucking do whatever I want while I'm editing this. But I'm just gonna say now. I know a lot of people sit there and they moan and whinge that we don't aim for like the best movies, the greatest movies out there. There's some classics and some real, you know, like truly stellar A star script right now there that we could be reviewing. But instead, we're reviewing this piece of shit. And you know what? Yeah. Part of me's glad because you don't actually have to watch the movie. You get to sit there with all the great movies that you pretend to watch and make yourself think that you're smarter with, but you don't have to watch these piles of fucking shit. And I did. I watched the leeches climb over people slowly and climb down people's mouths and the coach eat them. And it really gives me a nice appreciation for movies like Howling Five. And, jo and and Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. You know, every now and again I'll think of slow-mo and it won't be Kazuo's Revenge I'll think of. It'll be fucking leeches. I'll think of, what was that 70s space movie where the maggots came down from space and ate the guy's family in the basement? Oh, uh, Feeding Frenzy. Well, no, the, 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 the killer breed or whatever. That was a fucking classic compared to this 2003 pile of fucking manure. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Favourite <laughs> scenes? Yeah, fucking none. None. <laughs> fucking none. None. Um, memorable scenes? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> the epic point of view crawl to the dude who <laughs> slipped in the shower. Like, it's when that music kicked in and yeah. the, the camera slowly moved his way up. And then, the, I wasn't expecting it to go in his mouth. I was expecting the cut or something. Yeah. So that was like, it stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah and, and also the uh, them following him home and vomiting up this uh, leech. I was I was hoping for something gorier and nastier, but it's, it, it's it what we got. It it's come. what we got. I remember it. Um, and then the, probably the first leech death I call it the first one because it's the fucking same one for the rest of the film <laughs> just watching one leech climb up and then it's that sudden jarring jump to the face when the music kicks in and the edit goes all crazy I just remembered the fucking shower sequence when the guy which gets, one? the guy gets <laughs> into the shower pulls the door closed and they're suctioned onto the oh, fucking yeah, door and yeah. then they drop and down one of them to falls his down. yeah that was probably one of the bloodier oh, deaths they fucking electrified them didn't they with the hair dryer Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was shit. And that's where they got the idea to do what they do at the end. But that's because the leech was there. They didn't have to lure the leech there. Yeah. Like, because, oh, it's water, the wet. The leeches will be drawn to it. Well, there's water fucking everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, that was about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hope to soon forget this film in its entirety. Yeah. Ian, do you recommend leeches? No, unfortunately, no. I have one of those memories of movies where one day I'll hear the word leech or look at the word leeches, and I'll remember this steaming pile of shit. And as I said with my favourite sequences, you just have to count yourself happy that you don't have to watch this movie. Please, by all means, go out there and knock yourself out for, what, an hour and 20 minutes and watch the worst acting, the worst editing. I mean, even worse, possibly, on some levels than Venom. I mean, they were just being themselves. These people were actually trying to be somebody else, and they failed at doing that. I can never forget those leeches crawling all over those guys' bodies. I don't think I'll be able to sleep for weeks without thinking of some swimmer somewhere in his pants walking around. I'm going to have to fucking watch fucking Welcome to Raccoon City to try to forget this pile of shit. Do whatever the fuck you want with this movie. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, you know, I don't think I'll be recommending this complete waste of time <laughs> yeah. to anybody. No. This is a poor, shameful excuse for a film. It's a complete waste of potential. The premise, the horror, you know, of the slimy monsters, it's totally wasted. Really poor sock puppet effects, atrocious editing and jarring music, repeated kills just over and over again. It's such a waste. 
This could have been a disgusting and gross horror movie, but instead it's just tediously boring. The characters are super generic, bland, forgettable, cliched, and dull. The cast of the CW wannabes, you know, at least they try at times, but mostly they just try my patience. <laughs> this measly film was heavily padded with so much slow motion. It oh, could so have been much. edited down to 40 minutes and that's being generous. Yeah. The swim team steroids plot was tacky, the horror campy, and the result shocking. Yeah. It's awful. There really is no thrills in this, none whatsoever, unless you want to watch a bunch of clones getting undressed in slow motion. But even then, I'm sure you'll find that content elsewhere because <laughs> with this film the leeches they weren't the only ones that sucked <laughs> thanks for watching the chef reviews